Here we go. What do you think? What should we do to improve our English pronunciation accurately? What are those things to try to do in our daily life as a daily routine to improve your English pronunciation accurately? What are those things? I mean, what should you do? Or you have a question to yourself, what should I do to improve my English pronunciation? So if you have a kind of question in your like, in your daily life or you think when you speak it and you feel like, okay, I have a kind of problem. How do, do, uh, how do I do that, right? If you have this question, don't worry, my dear. I am going to give you one of interesting thing that you must have to do. This is my 100% guarantee that it might, your sound would be much better than previous one. I mean, previous one. So I hope you are going to follow this one. So I'm not gonna waste your time. Let's try to do that and you are going to obtain it and try to persist and try to get in until you try it. So there is everything you achieve in your life. You must have to put your effort and try to get it. You have to strive something, all right? So what we are going to do now, you must have to follow one interesting thing, one interesting method that you will find accurate pronunciation. Do you know when we speak English or when we read speak English or when we spell English word to pronounce it might be we do in a syllabus right we learn syllabus I'm not going to don't try to be confused that I'm going to tell you to use syllabus my main purpose my main thing is not syllabus everyone knows I think that how to pronounce by syllabus I mean you have to you have to just try to uh, uh, take a part to all of these slippers i mean slippers then you're going to learn okay so it is like pronunciation so you are going to count the slippers so i'm not going to suggest you this one but this is the best thing if you would try to just try to take apart them and try to learn in that way to pronounce well but as i think you must have to learn as one interesting thing that i knew that 100% all of them almost so when you're going to spell a particular word specific word do you know english has a lot of silent letters and you can't just spell it and just try to get it what it's just it's spelled and it's, it's to pronounce it is no idea this is not like that you must have to learn silent letter this is one of the interesting method that i'm going to tell you if you know 100% accurately silent letters, you are gonna be master in English pronunciation. Whenever you pronounce anything, you are going to do this 100% better than you've been doing in your whole life. This is my authentic, really authentic, original thing that you must have to follow. Try to learn. There are maybe there are only more than 30 rules are around 30 i could say that near to 50 total it can be rules like silent it is start with b letter silent letter b it has a two loop and silent letter c it has a two again so for example i can give you one example silent letter b is a very how do you, you have to learn for example bt when you have a bt is together whenever you have a b before sound t it can be not pronounced for example doubt you can see so in that way you have a lot of things to understand how do you do that how you have to pronounce it's not like that you just spell one word and you're going to pronounce the same thing i think you know that most of languages are i think i'm not sure all languages they have a silent letter but i know spanish they have also silent letters so whatever it is written, you can't pronounce in that way. It has already different way to pronounce. So learning silent letter is a must first priority for you. First and foremost, you have to do this with my 100% guarantee. You can, you can get it. 100% you can describe it and going to be better and better and better and excellent. Like, I, I really can't imagine, I mean, I really, I don't know, but if you can try it, I imagine that you are going to be a better speaker than before. 
everything you can do is this to improve your pronunciations uh, especially uh, when you think okay i'm going to read this stuff and i will be better in pronunciation so everything is different apart from that i would do suggest you first and important thing is this if you don't know cylinder you are going to pronounce 100 percent wrong word 100 percent if you don't know cylinder if you don't know any silent letters silent rules how do you pronounce such kind of word you can see this list you would have a very big problem to pronouncing this lesson all letter are silent letter you know most commonly used in our English word like talk, walk, very common word, talk, walk. Even you have a L silent there. See, there are thousands of different word probably. You, you could find it. I'm not sure thousands are how many words are there, but you, you could find a lot of words where you can find only silent letters. It can be H, L, M, who, I mean, whatever, no worries. But, I would suggest you do that and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you loved this tip. If you have any kind of question, feel free to message us and we will love to help you out always. I hope you give comment a feedback feedback about this video if if you really did love. Thank you. See you next video. Love you guys.